I've played World of Warcraft for over 15 years, but lately it just doesn't feel like the MMORPG experience I fell in love with all those years ago. So now I'm giving Final Fantasy XIV a try for the first time and documenting my process as I play through the game. Today is day three. Welcome to day three of this incredible adventure in Final Fantasy XIV. I am loving every minute of this so far. I honestly, every day I get excited to log in. And then when I log in, I try my hardest to never log out because I love it. I really am. I, I hope it comes across in the videos, but I cannot get enough of this game right now. And there's so much I want to see and do. At the same time, I'm trying to pace myself. So yeah, absolutely love the game. And thank you all so much for the support. I'm trying so hard to keep up with all the comments and all the interaction, people are messaging me and joining the Discord, people are messaging me in game and the comments, there's over 400 comments on day one. So um, I'm sorry if I haven't replied to your comments or got back to you, but I'm trying my hardest. I'm reading everything, trying to like where I can, but if I haven't replied, just know I've probably read it and I'm so thankful that you've taken your time to watch the video, comment, like, and interact in any way. I appreciate it so much. Also, I just wanna quickly say, some people mentioned in the comments that spoilers are a big thing in Final Fantasy XIV, so uh, this is my playthrough of the game and I want to document that whole thing. So I'm going to be showing uh, main story quests, side quests, uh, cutscenes. So this is your spoiler warning, I guess, and I'll try and put one at the front of every video. So yeah, other than that, guys, let's get into day three. So at the end of the last day, we started going to these new towns. We left uh, Gridania and started going to these other areas and starting to progress the main story. As a part of that, I started doing the blue quests and one of them led me to the gold saucer. And wow, this place is fun. Now, I don't have a gambling problem, is what all gamblers say. But there's something about this place that's very addictive and I loved every minute of my time here. The first thing I do here is walk up to this guy and he gives you basically a scratch card. This was fun, a fun little game. Um, I'll be going back there tomorrow. I'll be going back there on day five. I'll be here every day. I really, really like it. Um, and this is just a taste of what's here. This really is just a, just a little, little flavor of what's to come. A short walk to the left and I found this place. The Triple Triad. I've played every Final Fantasy game to from, from Final Fantasy VI. Pretty much every game that came out from me being old enough to play Final Fantasy, really. And I, I've seen this game before. I've seen... I've seen a, a version of Triple Triad in these games. You know, you've got the, uh, the the four corners and you have to beat your opponent. To think this is in an MMO is phenomenal. As soon as I saw this guy, I knew what this game was going to be about. I knew what these cards were and I love it. The fact you can, you can play this card game with other players, you can challenge people in towns and cities, it is just incredible i spent a lot of time here getting my ass kicked by these uh these npcs they got some good cards and then i met up with a friend who uh who's played this game for years and he showed me some of his cards and absolutely annihilated me uh, but this is incredible this is so good there's like tournaments as well where you can challenge other people uh, there's like daily stuff here i'm going to be collecting these cards if anyone knows where i can get some good cards let me know because right now i got some trash in my deck <laughs> and then i played the little mini games there's like the one where you punch this guy there's like a test of strength uh, there was like a there's like a, a grabbing machine uh, like a claw machine where you where you have to like grab these little balls So fun man. So fun. I I, I beat them all I don't think that's a flex though because the reward was very very small when you look at the prizes <laughs> And then I went up and played the uh, basically the national lottery the jumbo jackpot I think it was called the jumbo crackpot cackpot. I don't even know Ca the jumbo cackpot. There we go I played this I won't show you my numbers. That's a secret and then a warning came up saying there's an event now happening. So I I, I I queued up for the event and I had no idea what this was. It was like called the Leap of the leap of Faith. That was it. So I queued up, went to this, see what it's all about. No, no clue. And it's basically the jumping puzzles from, um, from Guild Wars 2. If you've played Guild Wars 2, there's like these big jumping puzzles where you can win these like little collectible things. And yeah, this was this was super fun. You go collect these little cactuses, and uh, yeah, super easy. I never I never fell off once. It's is really really easy. This thing I never never fell. Super fun. Um, yeah, this was hard. I fell a lot. I lost a lot. But eventually, I don't want to tell you how long it took me, but I persevered and I finished it. <laughs> this was incredible. I had such fun here. This this was so so fun. And there's other people doing it as well, so you can see everyone else falling and finishing. So yeah, got like four thousand. 
for this. I don't know if that's a lot, probably not, but yeah, I got 4,000 for that. I really, really, really enjoyed this. This was the, the most fun part of uh, of this area for me. I really, really like that. The, the fact that there's like timed events that happen. Uh, then I got lost and tried to find something else. And then I took the quest for like the Chocobo Racing and something else. Uh, I tried to play Mahjong and couldn't play it. And then I went to look at the prizes and realized that my 5,000 points was nothing compared to the million, million that you need for some of the prizes in there. Uh, but yeah, this place is incredible. This will not be my only time coming here. I'll try not to show it every video, but I loved it here. This is such a fun and relaxing area to just come and have fun. Um, huge, huge, huge fan. Then I got back to the main story and got back to progressing. That's a complete lie. I tried to challenge people at Triple Triad and lost every game. <laughs> so hard um yeah but i wanted to explore the town so i spent a lot of time just going around the new towns and trying to get as comfortable with the new ones as i felt with the starter zones and then my friend showed up and was showing me some pretty funny mounts he showed me like this turtle one and then there's like this big this big creature that like stomps around the mounts seem really cool in this game and they've got some really cool like uh animations i really <laughs> really like the look of these um i don't have a mount yet i think i need to progress the main story but Still cool to see them nonetheless. And then I, I could feel the anxiety in the comment section that a lot of people were telling me my, my hood looked awful and my UI did not look good. So I made the made an extra bar to satisfy you all and myself because it did look awful. Uh, so yeah, I've got like a permanent bar now for my jobs and some emotes. This has got bigger since recording. There's more stuff on there. But yeah, I wanted to organize that while I queued up for my first dungeon. So yeah, we, we did the first dungeon. The name's failing me now. I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, we did the first dungeon and this was this was awesome. So yeah, it was kind of a pirate themed dungeon. Um, it was pretty cool. There's like puzzles and th so this was like a, a little little puzzly area and you unlock secret areas. And it's kind of it was kind of underwater pirate cove style dungeon as part of the main the main story. Some bosses. Obviously, this was a starter dungeon. This is like the very first one. So again, my combat rotation is super simple. The fights were super simple. But they were fun. I mean, this whole series was comparing and contrasting with World of Warcraft. And it's hard to compare something like this with the level I was at at WoW, which was like endgame raiding and endgame dungeoning, Mythic Plus. So they're not comparable, but to compare it with a leveling dungeon, I'd say it's of, it's of the same difficulty as a World of Warcraft dungeon, but there's one huge difference. If you've played World of Warcraft, you will know that difference already, I think. And that's the, the, the attitude and the pace. So. You can see here, I think most people, apart from one guy, was a sprout. So, you know, three of us are new. And it was slow paced. Everyone kept stopping to read. Everyone kept stopping to watch. There's like a thing where you can't progress until everyone's watched the cutscenes because they relate to the story and they're interested in. So people were stopping to watch the cutscene. I think everybody watched the cutscene, apart from my friend who's done it before. Um, and generally, it's slow paced and you get to learn and experience and I didn't feel pressured or rushed. You can see here I'm reading the quest because I didn't understand if it was a better item or not. Um, and yeah, it's nobody rushed me and it, it's it's great to see because I don't want to generalize the, the World of Warcraft community, but even in leveling dungeons, people have leveled for 15 years. And if you're slow or you you go the wrong way or you mess up, it can be a bit of toxicity. Maybe my server's bad, but generally I found in dungeons, it can get kind of toxic, especially for new players, because people want to optimize their entire experience to be fast. And maybe at the end of the game in Final Fantasy, I'm going to come across that. But so far, everyone has been super understanding and super patient with me as a new player. And a lot of people around me have been new players, which, which is really great to see, because that was one thing I was worried about coming into a game that's so far along with no experience being behind. But that isn't the case so far. So yeah, combat, pretty similar. Everything else, pleasantly surprised. Uh, and then yeah, we kind of got to the final boss. I think this was the final one. And there's one extra thing which was really cool to me. So I played all the, a lot of the Final Fantasy games before and there's a thing called Limit Breaks, which is kind of like your ultimate ability, your Super Saiyan mode. And this is in dungeons. And my understanding is that it's linked so only one person can use it. And I did check beforehand, like, this is my first dungeon. Um, can I use the limit break? Is that okay? And everyone was like, yeah, man, go for it. So, yeah, we got him down to, like, really low health. And then here we go. Super Saiyan mode. And we killed it. And that was such a cool, epic moment. I This is my first experience, and I loved every minute of it. 
It was a pretty easy dungeon, and people were saying it's not one of the best, but I had a great time. And after doing the after doing the dungeon, I hit 20, so I could go and do the level 20 job quest. Um, I called this a job center in my first video, and got ripped by every single British person. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called like a class hall or a campaign class campaign job. The Lancer Center, I don't know. But yeah, you go here and you pick up your level 20 um, mission. And then what you have to do is you're reintroduced to someone that I showed in the first video who's like a protagonist and kind of like your rival. You're reintroduced to him and you're given a challenge to beat him at something. And there's this epic cutscene here where he goes in, guns blazing and loses against this big boar. And then epic main character moment. You come in, save the day. And in classic anime style, the weakness was within you all along. Heart of the cards and all that. So yeah, we uh, we tailed off that story and this this was such a cool moment. Because at the start, he seems like some insanely strong character. And to see a point where you best him or you show him up, this was sick. So yeah, level 20, class quest complete. Really, really, really enjoyed that. And the reward was a new lance. So of course we had to take a, uh, a, a pose and try out the different poses to see how cool it looked. And I really like the look of this one. Uh, it fits like the black armor set I've got on. I still can't get over how like aesthetically beautiful the game is. And then feeling that main character energy. It was time for the second dungeon. I just went straight for it. This was the Deep Croft, I believe it was called. And this was, it was, it was more repetitive in how it looked, but I really like like dark and edgy games and environments. So this was a lot more enjoyable for me to do. I really, really liked the look of the area. Um, I'm going to show the, the bosses now because I really, really like fighting the bosses in this one. So yeah, we fought this uh, this big Cthulhu looking monster. Uh, really, really cool. It was like it was like you work your way around the room. Um, a, a really good thing about the map. So I find the World of Warcraft dungeon so hard to get around. Like if you're a tank and you're new, you've, you're, good, you're in for a bad time. But here, the map literally just have pinpoints where the bosses are uh, and you just walk around and you do the bosses. You can see here I had no idea what the mechanics were so I was just hitting him for zero damage for a long time until I realized there's a giant purple beam going into him and there's, a, there's, these, there's these monsters keeping him alive and I was looking around like hold on what's going on why am I doing no damage so it, 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 it kind of got me a little bit because I just couldn't work out like I'm doing damage now why did it stop and then eventually you know the penny dropped and I realized hold on hold on these beams are monsters and I turned around and actually contributed to the fight by killing the monsters. <laughs> but what better way to end the fight than by leveling up right and there he is the big uh, Cthulhu looking creature down the end of the second dungeon and yeah I, I really like the dungeons in the game I mean I, I imagine like with all games they're going to get repetitive once you do a lot of them but as a first time player doing them for the first time they're fun they've both been different so far the, the, the dungeons are enjoyable the combat is still basic I, mean, I, I keep saying that but I'm level 20, you know, it's fine. And then with a sense of pride and accomplishment for pushing through the main story, I rewarded myself with some side missions activity, which was I, I leveled up some crafting jobs. So I did some botanist. So this is me handed in one of the botanist campaigns quests now. And that's it really. That's kind of all the productive stuff that happened this day. And then, you know, I met with my friend and we just kind of chilled in the town. He told me a few extra things about the game. Um, he's been helping me out along the way with a bit of advice. And yeah, we just kind of chilled, sat. Ad. A few other people did actually run over and say hi, which was really cool to see that I'd watched the videos. But but yeah, that's the end of day three, really. Had a really, really good day. Very productive, did some dungeons, and then also did a lot of community stuff, like just sat chatting to people. Some people have added me as friends. I'm, I'm, I'm Medieval Marty on the EU Light server, if anyone does want to drop me a message but yeah there's lots of people have come up and chatted some people have just whispered me and it's just nice there's a real good sense of community like chatting to people from the dungeons as well so yeah great community time today spent had some great fun in the golden saucer stuff like this was amazing despite falling at every opportunity <laughs> um but yeah really good day like a good balance of progression and fun which I really do appreciate because it, it does feel like it's not a heavy grind game where all that matters is your level and your gear score. And I'm really appreciating that so far. And it is nice to just go at my own pace and just have fun. I, I'm generally just having fun. So yeah, other than that, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this. If, you, if you're still enjoying it, any tips you've got, I am trying to read them all. I'll reply to all the ones that come through in like the first few minutes. I'm going to premiere 
um, the videos as they go along. So I do chat to people as they're premiering if you catch them. But yeah, if, if I don't reply, I will I will read the message, I'm sure. And if you want to get something directly to me, you, you're welcome to join the Discord. I've been chatting to a few people in there as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much, so much. I can't say thank you enough for all the support lately. Yeah, thank you. And I will catch you in part two, part four, which will be tomorrow. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye.